Hello friends, the coronavirus has caused immeasurable damage to both lives and property all across this world. But the human civilization has grown to such an extent that we were able to use science and to create vaccines at such a short span of time for containing this virus. But unfortunately, there has been a lot of vaccine hesitancy among the common public because of the misinformation which are being deliberately spread. And hence, this video will talk about how a virus infects a human cell and how the first vaccine was created and subsequently the vaccines now which are being created for containment of coronavirus. Let us go into the video. Going into this topic of how vaccines are prepared, we need to know how a virus infects our body and to be precise how it enters our cell and hijacks it and hence for that we will see how the biomechanism works inside our cell. So first thing which we should know is that our body is made up of trillions of microscopic building material called as cells and to be precise approximately 37.2 trillion cells in our body and each cell will have a nucleus and if we zoom into that nucleus there will be a ribbon like structure called as chromosomes and the number of chromosome varies according to species in case of humans there are 23 chromosomes two sets of chromosomes to be precise one set from the mother and one set from the father these chromosomes, if we closely watch, in these chromosomes are the genetic material called as the DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. This deoxyribonucleic acids are nothing but the blueprint of who you are or the tool through which the genetic information across billions of years that has been passed along generations or it will be passed along for further billions of years and uh, if we see how this structure uh, is designed the structure has if you see what is this deoxyribonucleic acid is a dna is a ladder like structure with two columns and these two columns are formed by sugar phosphate backbone a sugar phosphate backbone so and under this or inside this the steps are formed using nitrogenous bases and these nitrogenous bases come in four varieties called as adenine guanine cytosine and thymine and this adenine guanine cytosine thymine does not exist in singularity that is it will always be paired with the opposite uh, uh, nitrogenous base for example adenine will always be paired by thiamine and guanine will always be paired, uh, paired by cytosine so cytosine again so g again a so this kind of complementary base pair exists between these nitrogenous bases and if we see the DNA is comprised, if we assume that this DNA is comprised of this ladder like structure uh, which uh, uh, is formed using this sugar phosphate backbone and the steps formed using adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. This structure runs for example to an extent of 3 billion base pairs. So there are approximately 3 billion steps in this ladder. And in this 3 billion step for human beings, it is said that there are 20,000 to 25,000 gene. That is, these 
base pairs are divided into uh, uh, different uh, genes and what is a gene is that a gene is the is the information through which your trait gets manifested that is what trait you have outside your outside appearance is because of the gene which you carry in your dna example can be anything your eye color hair color uh, the way you behave your iq even in most of the cases uh, not one gene but for iq uh, your height everything there are many genes which uh, work together in order for you to have that trait and hence each person varies from uh, each each person varies according to this gene composition and uh, the point which we now have to consider is how this gene which is present in that uh, dna gets uh, transcribed into that particular trait so for that there is a process called as transcription where for example if you see the nucleus which has this dna or the chromosomes uh, which are present in the nucleus containing the dna uh, the information for example from one particular gene for manifestation of a particular trait gets transcribed or gets transcribed into a messenger ribonucleic acid that is messenger rna so if you see same similar to the way dna is there there is one other uh, biomolecule called as rna ribonucleic acid so dna is deoxy ribonucleic acid so in simple terms what you have to know is that so the information we have about a particular trait is present in these genes and in th this gene has to be translated into that particular trait and the mechanism that is used by our body is called as transcription and uh, we have a carrier who is called as the messenger rna and this messenger rna takes that information into a structure called as ribosome which is the place where proteins are built so the information which is present in the nucleus gets translated into a particular protein for example the eye same similar the eye color hair color hormones how your body muscle composition is or everything in your body is because of the protein and hence that uh, gets translated uh, into your outer appearance and a collection of all these traits and a collection of all these uh, 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 all these proteins makes a human being so this is the basis so so basis of how a human being uh, gets manifested into what they are in the outside world is because of the mechanism through which uh, the genetic information the blueprint which is present inside your cell gets translated into uh, the respective proteins now we have to see the next thing how this mechanism which we have described right now is used by the viruses to hijack your cell so the virus as per se uh, bi biologically is not alive the virus what scientists say is that it does not have a specific mechanism of its own to manufacture its protein rather what it does is that it uh, invades another person's body and cell uses that mechanism for making the protein it, it needs for its replication so it's like the uh, the virus does not have any uh, any house for its own uh, rather it uh, comes into our house and it makes use of all the things which are inside our house for the benefit of its own not for the benefit of us so how it does so let us see so in in case of for example uh, there are so many viruses so in case of coronavirus let us assume uh, this uh, virus has a structure uh, where it is circular and it has a spike so this is called as the spike and uh, this is the picture which we often see in TV and what this spike do is does is that it uh, gets it gets attached to the outside or it gets attached to the outside of the cell so in this manner it gets attached to the cell and once it gets attached to the cell 
it it is engulfed into the cell slowly and once it is engulfed it releases the genetic material if you see the genetic material has been of the virus the genetic material of the virus has been injected into your cell and once this genetic material gets injected into the cell it goes into the nucleus and in that nucleus it makes use of the same transcription procedure which we have described right now the same mrna or the messenger rna your messenger rna will be now used by this virus to make proteins for itself so in in that case what it does is that it hijacks your it is hijacking your cell and by hijacking what it is making is that it is replicating itself so one virus becomes so many other virus and it starts proliferating and it starts increasing in number and that is why for example a person once it gets affected by a virus it can be uh, transmissible that is that person can transmit to so many other people and this is how uh, virus hijacks your cell so now what we have to do is that so a virus uh, so this is where the survival of the fittest comes uh, for in nature uh, virus starts invading our cell now we have to protect uh, 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 protect ourselves from the virus so what we uh, do is that we use something called as signs signs which we disco discover are used for uh, fighting all these uh, viruses and one such signs is what is called as the vaccines and this vaccine was first discovered or it has been there for a very long time but in uh, in regular terms it was discovered by a person called as edward jenner in case of smallpox so edward jenner had many patients uh, for who were so he was there and he had many patients who suffered from smallpox and smallpox happened to be a very detrimental uh, disease and it was caused by a virus at that time it was not confirmed uh, which virus and what and all but what he found was that he found that in the patients who were suffering from smallpox uh, there were also other persons there were also other persons in the same area who had cow shelters or who were very close to cows and what he found was that these people who had been in the cow shelters or uh, had cows had been affected even earlier so they have been affected even earlier by a, a lighter version of uh, smallpox which was called as the cowpox so it was this cowpox was not that detrimental this cowpox was uh, was relatively manageable than the smallpox which was affecting in an adult uh, time so what he found was that uh, this cowpox or the pus the pus from the cowpox can be used on people so that uh, they may be infected or they may be affected in an earlier stage and uh, once they are getting affected they do not get the uh, main smallpox uh, is what he found and uh, this is nothing but the concept of vaccine so vaccine is like a practice match having a practice we do not uh, have uh, the complete uh, fast bowling or the strict uh, rules and regulation uh, before we go into the uh, original match why we do that is that to get accustomed to get to know how the uh, match is going to progress and what and all we can do and how we can uh, be able to uh, win over the uh, person who is going to defeat us so in the same way in the case of virus we have a practice match with a less uh, less intense virus like for example in the case of smallpox cowpox happens to be a less intense virus where we practice this and we get immune uh, to that main virus so this technique is what is the basis of vaccine and how this has been used for example in uh, fighting covid virus is what uh, is the most uh, uh, very ingenious uh, discoveries which have happened in the recent time for uh, human civilization in the case of first we will see what is a 
Covishield because Covishield is what uh, is present in India uh, which is uh, which occupies nearly 80 to 90 percent of the market and uh, it is done by a company called as AstraZeneca uh, found by Oxford University and how this wire uh, this vaccine works is very simple in the terms that what we uh, what in, in the terms that what we do is that we use the same mechanism as the virus which hijacks our body we use that mechanism for uh, making a vaccine so we are in turn using viruses mechanism for preventing them from infecting us so how we do that is that we take a virus for example we, we in this case specific case we take an adenovirus adenovirus is a virus which affects the chimpanzee and it looks similar to this hexagonal feature with uh, this uh, spike and what we do is that we remove the information we this is the genetic information which is present in the virus and uh, what we usually do is that we remove this genetic information so that it becomes harmless this is the this is the point everybody uh, gets uh, very uh, uh, discouraged or scared because they are thinking that we are sending in a virus to infect our body no in the case of virus we make them harmless in, in the initial step itself so we have removed the genetic material then what we do is that we put in the spike that is in, in we use uh, we put in the information of the spike of the coronavirus points we have to notice that first we have removed the genetic material responsible for multiplication of the virus from the adenovirus second we are replacing that information with the spike protein of coronavirus in that case we are not sending the whole information of the coronavirus rather we are only sending a part of the information of coronavirus which is the spike protein into the uh, adenovirus and uh, what this adenovirus then we inject it once we inject it this adenovirus same way as we saw in the how a virus infects our body same way this virus gets attached to our body cell and once they are attached to the body cell they enter or engulf or they are engulfed into the our body and that genetic information gets inside our body once this genetic information gets inside our body as you might be aware we our body transcribes so we use a messenger rna and we transcribe that information to make proteins but in this case you see this in this case the virus has not entered completely or we have not made the whole virus enter our body rather we have made only the spike protein enter our body and once that spike protein enters our body uh, this uh, uh, this spike protein or uh, the mRNA makes uh, the in the ribosome uh, these spike proteins are produced by the mRNAs which are sent into the ribosome and once this uh, spike proteins are produced in the body we will find that our body uh, is getting ready or the body finds that uh, this uh, spike protein which is present uh, is not the uh, is not the feature of our own body and hence starts making something called as the antibody these antibodies are like a, a mechanism for fighting these viruses so a y shaped so similar uh, similar structured y shaped antibodies are formed in our body and we get this is the practice match we do and we get ready and this is why we have that initial fever and everything so once we get ready our body starts producing more antibodies and we get ready and uh, when uh, the original coronavirus so when the original coronavirus the, with the full information comes this y shaped antibodies gets attached to this uh, spike which is there so if you see it uh, it has already why we how it finds is that it has already found how uh, the spike proteins are or the information of the spike proteins have all already been given through that vaccine and hence that they, they get attached very easily to that spike protein and hence they kill them and this is what is called as the immunity and this is why vaccines are uh, prescribed for everyone so this is the mechanism uh, by which covid shield acts but the covid and what we do in pfizer moderna is that 
we don't have any virus like the adenovirus which we use in covid shield rather we make directly so in if you see in the uh, transcription process the genetic material gets transcribed using an mrna or a messenger rna so what in pfizer moderna we do we make an mrna and we coat it with a lipid molecule and directly inject into the body so in this case we are not using any virus or any nothing no material is used rather we make an information of uh, the mrna what information we make is that we make the information of the spike protein so corona vac corona viruses the spike protein information is fed into this mrna directly and that is sent into your body and that gets into your body and once this gets into your body and the ribosomes uh, pick up that mrna so next step is the same next step if you see uh, once that uh, uh, ribosome picks up it same way the uh, spike proteins are produced and your body gets uh, ready for uh, the foreign agent which has come inside your body and starts making antibody like this y shape and the same way when the coronavirus enters it finds the spike proteins structure suitable for destruction and this is what is called as uh, the immune system of your body acting on uh, your own strength so vaccines are nothing but your own body acting on uh, the strengths of your body to kill the virus so what we have done using science is that we have just made sure that there is some practice match before uh, the original battle takes the vaccine is johnson and johnson so there are so many vaccines so we have seen covid shield pfizer moderna the next vaccine is johnson and johnson and same way in johnson and johnson the only change is that here we use an adenovirus so we use an adenovirus but this adenovirus seems to be causing uh, uh, or uh, this uh, this virus is pe peculiar to humans so in covid shield if you see we used adenovirus for in, uh, injecting the genetic material or the uh, spike protein into our body was of a chimpanzee so here we use a human uh, version of adenovirus so next is the sputnik vaccine it is a vaccine in uh, prepared in russia where uh, the same way so the same adenovirus is used the same adenovirus and the same mechanism is used but what uh, uh, small change is that uh, sputnik uses two doses and in the first dose one type of uh, adenovirus is used and in the second uh, dose another type of adenovirus is used so two types of adenoviruses are used for sending uh, the genetic information into your body so the last vaccine is the coaxin uh, manufactured by india this is an indigenous product bharat biotech uh, with the help of indian council of medical research and uh, national virology institute have been able to find a vaccine for uh, specifically for india and how this vaccine works is in simple terms we have this corona virus we take this corona virus and we remove this genetic material so the in the genetic material which is present uh, and inside the active corona virus is killed so this genetic material is killed and this uh, this uh, uh, corona virus is inactivated so it becomes inactivated and then it is made to be injected into your body as covaxin and once it is injected your body uh, you get immune system or practice before the original virus gets inside your body and then we can have uh, immunity for uh, this virus and uh, if you see uh, the following uh, vaccines which we have dis uh, discussed right now have been used across this world uh, for example oxford astrazeneca is used in nearly 177 countries so covid shield vaccine which we are using is uh, being used in 177 countries Pfizer Moderna in one or three countries and then uh, uh, there is something called as Sputnik used in 45 countries, Covaxin is being used in uh, around six countries, Johnson & Johnson is used in 24 countries. So if we see the reason why we made this video is that to show that this vaccine which is present, this is the mechanism through which the vaccines operate and if we see the vaccines are being administered all across this world, the whole world is involved in this 
process for uh, making uh, uh, or removing coronavirus as fast as possible to get uh, into our activity as soon as possible and to be able to go to cinema theatres, to be able to go to schools, uh, colleges, to start work, to be, uh, to get to the next level of human civilization, used our human science and our whole effort in this process of making uh, this coronavirus as inactive as possible and to remove it from our lives and uh, I hope this video would uh, convince you that the vaccines are safe and if you have not get gotten vaccinated please do get vaccinated and uh, please protect uh, your family members as well and I hope uh, we uh, tide over this coronavirus pandemic as soon as possible. Thank you.